Hey, just wanted to show you a feature that's in Google Meet that you may not be aware of. So I'm just in a regular Google Meet. I went to meet.google.com and started it up with a nickname, but you could use the one that's in the top of your Google Classroom, just the same. You're gonna come down here and you're gonna click turn on captions. This is a feature I've showed you before. It's great for students who have hearing difficulties and they have to turn it on themselves. And then what I say will be typed on the bottom of their screen. It's not turned on by the teacher for all students. It's turned on by each student individually. So once you have that caption feature on, you're gonna come down here to the darker turn off captions box and you're gonna right click and choose translate. When you choose translate up here, you'll be given the language you previously chose, but you can click the three dots and choose another language and choose any language that you want from probably a hundred different ones that it has in here. Remember that character-based languages like Korean and Chinese are harder for Google to translate than text-based ones. So you'll have to uh, have the students judge those results for themselves. But once you've got it on, you'll notice that all of our menus have changed to Spanish and our closed caption has changed to Spanish. And this will persist for the rest of this Google Meet call. And then once you hang up and you go back into Google Meet, it will reset back to English. Okay, so that's how to use the translate feature in Google Meet.